Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a twin flame reading about the masculine energies on top and the feminine at the bottom in regards to what is it that the masculine is letting the feminine know? What is it that the feminine is letting the masculine know? Where are the energies at this time? I'm using Palo Sante to clear the energies right now between the masculine and the feminine and whoever that is watching this reading. Remember, these are general. They may or may not apply. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information, my email is in the description box. And as always, thank you for commenting, liking, sharing, and for all your beautiful donations and for those who have reached out for a personal reading. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. I will use the Dream Oracle at the end and also going to use my Twin Flame Journey deck that I have created myself with my own painting and my own sayings at, on these cards. So let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna start with the masculine energy. There'll be six on top for the masculine, six on the bottom for the feminine, and two in the middle in regards to the energies at that. Wow, look at this, I slit this open. <laughs> wow, we have the devil and the fool. So the masculine right now, you know, there's negativity right away. Uh, there's some belief systems within the masculine that he is not going to have this new beginning or there's a lot of attachment to having a new beginning, feeling very foolish, feeling very foolish, being stuck in the connection and not being able to move on at this time. This is such a huge message that is coming out here. So the devil describes <clears throat> how one can be controlling or being controlled by outer circumstances, the belief system. So there's a lot of attachment the masculine right now is having to the feminine in regards to how he can hang on. This is very obsessive obsession going on in regards to having a new beginning here with the feminine at this time. The fool wants to go on this new journey, so the masculine wants a new journey, but there's a lot of codependency. There's still a lot of attachment, still a lot of shadow work that the masculine has not done. So this is your own inner beliefs for the masculine, the beliefs that he holds about the relationship. There can be things that are holding him back, like lust, addictions, negativity, old belief systems, and being chained to those beliefs and being chained very obsessively to the other. And this is, it's like, I have to have you for us to start, or, you know, you have to want me, or there's control, these very needy controls that are incredibly one of the darker energies of lower frequencies. So the masculine right now has to look at his own energy and what is it that he's holding? Is it based on lower base energies? Because with this energy, there is no forward movement with the feminine. I'm going to go ahead and put those back in and let's get <clears throat> when over um, okay so we have the eight of cups is in an overall energy i'll get one from the feminine as well and <clears throat> wow quite a bit ten of swords the first card out for the masculine and i will go over the cards as we go for what each one is talking about so let's go ahead and lay out <laughs> masculine is talking okay so let's see angels guide swords Let's see, what are we coming into here for the masculine? Let's get masculine's energy. The first card is how he's feeling, which we're seeing the Ten of Swords. In the second card, we see how he sees the feelings of the feminine. At this time, a card flew out. We have the card of Temperance. The third card is how he sees the relationship at this time. So let's see the energy that wants to come out with how's the masculine seeing right now the relationship at this time wow judgment in reverse the fourth card is going to represent the message that each are telling each other so what is the masculine wanting to say to the feminine wow so i'll take both cards we have the fifth card as well and this card is the challenge and the obstacle and we'll get one more card for the masculine and the last card will be the outcome of what the masculine is wanting and hoping for in this relationship. Let's get one more card, Angel Spirit Guides. One more card. Oh, ooh, that one wanted to turn over, but it did not. <laughs> we'll get one more card. Okay, well, okay, he wants to come out of the cold. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside and let's do the same for the feminine and overall energy. I'm going to, uh, again, judgment and queen of pentacles. The feminine at this time is not feeling very safe and secure and doesn't feel that there's gonna be a reconciliation. And based on these two cards, the Queen of Pentacles in an upright would be someone who's fair, loving, very generous with her time, very grounded. And with the Judgment card, <clears throat> it would be a card of liberation and judgment of really liberating herself from this, from herself, from the connection, waking up to the connection. But in its reversal, it is saying that right now she doesn't see safety. She doesn't see a security. She doesn't see a coming back together. I'm going to go ahead and put those back. And let's just see the first card that wants to come in the middle next to with the feminine's energy. And I may just cut the deck and start taking it from there. So many jumping cards. Wow. Okay. So now let's go ahead and pull six for the feminine. Let's see, I'm hoping that you could see these cards. Let's see these energies for the feminine. Okay, so we have for the feminine. What I'm gonna do is cut the deck. These uh, cards wanna talk quite a bit. Let's see, what is the feminine wanting to say to the masculine? How's she feeling at this time in regards to, we have, the queen of the knight of pentacles and it goes right here let's just move these up so you can see them okay let's see how is that let me just look at my camera okay the feminine how she sees um her feelings at this time how she sees her own feelings. How's, how's the feminine feeling at this time? I'm gonna put those back in. What is the feminine's feeling at this time? Take this called the world in reverse, wow. Now the third card is how she sees the relationship between her and the masculine. So let's see that. How does the feminine see the relationship, her relationship at this time? How is the feminine seeing her relationship with the masculine at this time. Okay, okay. Well, we have the seven of pentacles. Let's see, let's bring these up so you can really see these. And then I'm gonna go over them. Let's get three more. Okay, we have the knight of wands, the eight, and then, uh, and also a five, there's a mirroring here. This is the five of wands. At the bottom of this deck, for the feminine, we have the moon, things have been illuminated. Wow, and for the masculine, we have the two of cups in reverse. This is very much a blocked energy to the masculine and to the feminine at this time. The um, arching energies is that they don't see a reconnection at this time. So. Let's go over it. So the masculine at this time, this is how the masculine is a feeling. First of all, let me go here. So the overall energy is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups in between both of them in reverse, there's a fear of truly leaving one another. This is when it's stuck energy. Anytime the cards are in its reversal, it's very much blocked. In an upright, they both know that they need to move on and that they will experience something better once they do their own shadow work, their own feelings, come in to really look at their own emotions. Let, uh, let's see where I need to change and all of those things, you know, because the twin flame is two souls. It is one soul, I'm sorry, that is split into two bodies. The twin flame is you. It is just the feminine or the masculine aspect of you. It is not separate from you. And there, I don't see a realization here that, um, that two of them are fully whole. This is fear, fear of leaving things that are emotionally blocked, really not looking at the emotions that are within the self. So this is not seeing things illuminated. This is afraid of leaving something behind and feeling here with the Four of Cups, 
and that things have just been very stagnant no matter how many times that you have tried together to leave one another and you drink from the same cup it seems like there's been a repetitive pattern here in regards to the universe keeps giving you both opportunity to drink from the cup and to really fill yourself up from the inside out and to bring this union together as two holes but here with the four neither one is really seeing this at this time you keep thinking that your fulfillment is by receiving that person that masculine or the feminine's energy and hence there's a lot of fear with going inward in really looking at yourself looking in your own shadow and these are the overall energies when I see the two of cups in reverse this is also saying that you know what there's doubt maybe this is not my twin flame maybe this is just a karmic maybe this is a relationship that is no longer going to work here is from the masculine the masculine is giving up the feminine on this time there's a lot that is coming to illumination she is looking at her own shadow the dark night of the soul if you're needing this is pisces i also like to call it cancer card but we have a lot of different energies here so it doesn't matter what sign because each sign is really an energy that is coming through the moon is illuminating things to the feminine at this time in regards to her own shadow to her own fears of what she is not seeing enable for each of them to be able to move on to heal and to come back with the first card of how the masculine is feeling this is the ten of swords the masculine is feeling beaten he is tired exhausted and this has been a very long journey of mental pain it could have been a lot of bickering there could have been a lot of fighting it could have been a lot of beliefs how things are not going to work out hence 10 is lay down, lay down the swords that this fight is over, can no longer fight for this connection at this time, mentally exhausted. And just know that tens, when tens happen is that there's a truth coming. There's been a truth coming because it goes into an ace of swords. So there's a lot of truth that's coming to the masculine, but the masculine at this time is feeling very much exhausted mentally because it's sword energy in regards to how he believes this relationship will move forward or not. With the feminine, we have the Knight of Pentacles. How she is feeling is that things have just taken too long. It has been taking too long as we're looking at here with all of these energies, it's like, okay, we keep trying, but things are not moving fast. Things are very slow in regards to the stability, in regards to love, in regards to things coming in together. So this this level of the exhaustion from the masculine for wanting things to come forward and how he's feeling, he's mentally tired. And for the feminine, she has just been waiting and waiting the Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles is very slow moving energy. So we have Aquarius, Gemini, uh, Libra energy. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. But this is saying the, the feminine, how she's feeling is that she feels like she can wait. She can wait for this connection. On the second card here is how he sees her feeling at this time, which is temperance, the card of Sagittarius. He's feeling that she right now is in a place of bringing balance to herself, harmonizing her energy. Really, this is the card of really harmonizing between the water and the fire, bringing balance, becoming an alchemist, really working on self to temper oneself from their emotions and their thoughts and their actions when the temperance card comes in. So how he sees her feeling at this time is someone who's tempering and also could be a card of somebody could be drinking. So temperance card with the cups, there can be some addictions. We saw that, you know, can it also be the masculine right now that can be, you know, over excess on drinking um, and maybe that how he is coping with his own feelings at this time. We're seeing this here too. With the feminine card, how she sees him feeling at this time is the world. She doesn't, she sees that he doesn't really see this to be over. Again, the world in its upright would be a completion of the cycles. The, the feminine at this time is not seeing that this chapter is close. She has blocked this energy, doesn't want to look at all the things that is going on within the relationship. The world in its reversal card talks about, you know, in its upright would be that completion of the journey. It is that victory card opening to 
new experiences, open to all of the gifts of the universe and the travel. So the feminine right now has been on hold and she is not looking at completing things. She doesn't feel that this is something that's going to come to its completion. Hence, she is just tired. She's tired of waiting here with the world card to her the door can be open, but right now it is blocked energy. So she is blocking herself of traveling towards the masculine. She sees the masculine as someone who is just not ready to change, change their ways, because this is the way she sees the masculine. With the third card, how the masculine sees the relationship. At this time, we have judgment in reverse. Judgment in its reversal is that you know, when two people are just not going to reconcile. Judgment in reverse is no reconciliation. There's no hope. There's no getting back together. Even though there's a fear of change, even though emotionally one has blocked oneself out, even though there can be some addictions going on also with the judgment card and all these cups in reversal, it is talking about not being able to liberate oneself. This is a place where he is feeling stuck when it comes to the relationship. So there's a point of just needing to stay still. And this is when he's not really able to make any kind of decisions, any review. There's um, still um, resentments. There can be some resentments. There's no forgiveness here with this card. He hasn't woken up to the connection. And right now, this is in regards to really coming to a place where he makes a decision. But in this way, judgment is reversed. It's on hold. No decision has been made, but he just feels like there is no reconciliation. The third card here for the feminine, how she's the she sees the relationship at this time. The Eight of Pentacles talks about mastering, mastering the skill, mastering um the two of you, what needs, what work two people need to do in its reversal. She is tired of working on the relationship. So how she's the, she sees the relationship is that she no longer wants to work on the relationship. This is not something that she can master. So there's a surrender, a letting go, not wanting to put any more effort into something that just can't come to its own completion. Here with the fourth curl, wow, look at this mirroring effect, the world twice in reverse. This is the message each other are really giving to each other, the information he's sending telepathically to the feminine. And this is what he's saying is that right now he doesn't see that is completed between the two, although he doesn't see the two coming back together. He is just not very hopeful. The world in its reversal talks about that. It talks about there is no victory in this situation, that you can't make something happen. So telepathically, he is sending that, you know what? Yes, although I feel like there's some things that are unsaid and that, you know, I'm not ready to close out this chapter. I just don't see this moving forward. I don't see us being together, uniting as one he doesn't see it. He doesn't see that within himself. And hence, he's closed off on completing any cycle that needs an apology, any judgment to come out of, and the pain, that dark night of the soul. Here with the feminine, the feminine, what is it that messages that she's sending to the masculine telepathically? And this card is Knight of Wands. The message is that player card. She's sending that message of don't come in and out of my life. Stop coming in and out of my life. Don't play with me. I don't want to be played with anymore. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being tired. I don't want to work on this anymore. I don't want to go back to the old ways. And this is just taking too long because the Knight of Wands is that Aries energy. It can be Sagittarius and also Leo, but the Knight of Wands is the player card. Somebody who comes in, somebody who goes out. So she feels that in his world, he's still a player and he's not really ready to make that, to free himself from that energy. And hence she is sending this energy. Don't come back to me. I don't want you playing in my life. I'm tired of you coming in and leaving, coming in and leaving. So these are just energies that I no longer want to work on this connection, even though it's been hard for me to leave this situation. I'm tired of getting less than what I deserve. And here the same with the masculine sending the message of, you know what, I keep trying, 
and I can't leave you either, and I know that you don't want to work on it anymore, but two have not completed their own cycles. Each have still not learned their lessons. The fifth card is the challenge and the obstacle, the belief in order to overcome. So this is what it's going to take into coming into union. So the magician is a trickster in reverse. When the magician shows up, this is saying, you know what? I don't even understand how to make things happen. I don't know how to manifest things. I don't know what talents to use. I don't know. I can't see, seem to get this thing to go into that next level. So the challenge is to overcome tricking oneself using trickery in any way, shape, or form in order for the relationship to come into a fruition because the magician is the law of attraction. But here the, he's not using the law of attraction in its upright position because the magician in its upright position is one of, um, like I said, the law of attraction. This is one of gratitude. This is in regards to cultivating the energies that are within and creating the magic that is already within your own skills, your own emotions, passions, your thoughts with clarity. And so we have your emotions, mastering of the emotions of the mental body, the creativity, and also the stability. In this way, the masculine has not learned how to master these elements and he keeps tricking himself and hence stays in this cycle, cycle of blame, cycle of judgment, cycle of dark nights of the soul and can seem to shift this energy. So the message is for the masculine to shift the energy and realize that everything that is happening between the masculine and the feminine is one of law of attraction. Whatever thoughts you're thinking, whatever emotions you have about it, wherever you've been putting your creativity, your fire, your passion, and in regards to stability. If all of these things are or will never be stable and it's been about sex and that you're emotionally disconnected and it's all been about the mind and everything is going wrong this becomes the magician hence this is what you're creating everything that becomes blocked when you can create something very powerful so very much blocked energy maybe not even wanting to put any effort into recreating something beautiful because there is a lot of things that are still not closed out here for the masculine the feminine she has blocked all communication from the masculine, the challenge is to learn to go with the flow. The challenge for the feminine is to allow communication, is to communicate in a way that is not reactive. So this way, this is communication that comes in. This is one that is in flow of communication. In this way, it could be very harsh. Wanting to communicate, not wanting to communicate, again, is very much that in and out energy for the feminine. The fem feminine has blocked the communication. So she is at this time, her challenge to overcome that is to really look within herself about doing work that is for her going really within in realizing the cycles that she keeps going over and over and how much time she has given it and take this time in order for her to learn about communication, not being reactive and really trusting the flow. So the feminine right now, she's not trusting the flow. She's not trusting this communication. She's not trusting that when you take a time out, then things fall into place. The sixth card is the outcome of what the masculine is hoping for. The masculine is hoping for coming out of the cold, coming out of rejection, coming out of the past, so stuck energy. The Five of Cups talks about being stuck in the past and not realizing that there isn't another opportunity, be it with the feminine or another relationship that will bring some lessons for this masculine to grow. In this way, this masculine is feeling very alone, feeling rejected and feeling abandoned and not feeling very um, hopeful when it comes to this union. So this is a um, very much despair, loss, sadness, and these are the energies. The masculine wants to come out of these energies. He no longer wants to stay in these energies. And he's hoping that he can reconcile and come out of the cold. So there can be, I will pull a clarifier on that. With the feminine <clears throat> at this time, she's still in conflict. She may have other people in regards to 
her connection with the masculine that are saying, hey, you guys have argued, you've been fighting, he's come in and out, he is not committed, he's been a player energy, maybe there's been addictions on your part, on his part, and there's this internal conflict and also conflict with other people. So the feminine could have also had conflict from her friends, from his friends, from her family, from his from his family and there's just been a lot of conflict so the outcome is for her to reconcile that conflict that is within her you know if she's blocking communication then she needs to really do that job that she goes within to resolve the conflict that she's having this there's a lot of fire that is being used in a very reactive way from the feminine energy and what i want to do is pull on the five of cups i'm sorry um, i meant for the yeah let's do the masculines for the five of cups and let's see wow yeah the masculine that just flew right over just does not see and look at the next card would be here the masculine is in a place of surrender at the bottom of the masculine, this is the energy, very phallic symbol. So this really is, if the masculine was coming from a place of a player energy, from a place of sex, from a place of, um, you know, really using that fire energy in an unhealthy manner, he has to recognize that because it is all about the heart. The masculines um, at this time are to learn how to love themselves first, to heal themselves from the inside, to come from the heart, to realize that the universe is giving him the opportunity opportunity to really fill up his own cup and realize that the relationship between a twin flame is in regards to wholeness. It is in regards to service from the heart to humanity. That is the twin flame come together so they can recognize their own triggers and recognize what is keeping them in judgment. What is keeping them in cycles? Where are they tricking themselves or other people? Where are they the victim? And where are they out of any kind of balance and harmony? The twin flames are to harmonize themselves first so they can come into union with the three of wands in its reversal it talks about not waiting at least it's not going to come in the way the masculine thought it was going to come in in this way the upright says that it's going to come in the shifts the relationship whatever it is it is on its way do not worry about it in this way there is doubt whether this will ever happen that unconditional love but the masculine has to learn what unconditional love means what love period means what it means to give what it means to be there emotionally how to use his intuition how to allow the 1111 to come into together so maybe the masculine is just waking up to the connection but love that love of self is very very important this is where it is because it is in recognizing your oneness and your wholeness it is not in waiting for things to come in in the way that you thought they were because that is not mostly the case with the twin flame the twin flame goes through journeys of mirroring of triggering so you can awaken to your own oneness that is already within you and the two come into union together. Not all twin flames will come in and stay together. Some will come in, trigger, one can awaken, one may not, and it's the twin flame journey. And this is you are the other you. So the twin flame is in you recognizing that. This is just not seeing it. He's just not seeing how this will ever happen, how this love will ever come in. But if the masculine realizes that he's to fill up his own cup, then the way it comes in will be very different than the way he thought. And right now he's to pursue things that give him passion in a healthy way, to create a whole new life, to create things out of the fire energy. So being very bold in, in um, what he's doing, whatever he is creating, whether um, it is running his own business, whether it's creating art, whatever this is for him, he is to really transform these energies. One in really learning how to master the fire and water connection, coming in alchemist, making steam of that. So bringing creativity from the heart for the masculine. For the feminine energies on the five of wands, we have, wow, the five of wands. She wants a whole new life. And I will give two more for just to make it the same. So this is in regards to the past and in regards to we have the future and the past. Now, if you were to stay in this energy, it is sprouted. You're going to experience the same hence world. 
Now, the future is unseen. So what the feminine is creating within this moment is by being very present to the things that she wants to bring in and come out of that conflict because the two is in regards to being present to what the past was, but what it is that you're creating. What is it that you want to bring in? Wow, oh my God, this is amazing. Look at this, they are marrying. They're both understanding wholeness. And you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't have to be. There's also um, a lot of fire signs here too. Aries, Leo, Sag. We have um, just about, I don't know, um, um, more of these cup and fire energies than I have air, but I do have one air energy here. So they're mirroring. He's got the three. He doesn't believe the masculine and how it's going to come in. There's a giving up. I thought it would come in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my throat was going out. So there's this communication and the communication is blocked at this time. So it can't be using trickery, can't be um, using the law of attraction in a way that um, is not self-serving. The law of attraction is to see it, act as if you already have it, and really recognizing that everything that you're seeking is within you, and how does this relationship marrying you so you can really create the life that you want. So whatever that has been created here is by the masculine's thoughts in regards to the relationship and any judgment that has been based upon it. Here we have that Ace of Cups, and then we have, look at this, at the bottom, the Wheel of Fortune for the Feminine. So here we have the Ace of Cups. The feminine is in also doing healing. So both parties are doing self-healing, self-love. They're recognizing that the twin flame connection, the 1111, is about self-healing, self-love mastery. Love is not on the outside. The universe is saying it's time to heal yourself from the inside out. That is the twin flame because you're the same. It's two it's two bodies, same soul. So the soul is now recognizing that the love that they truly want to have together is to love themselves because in you loving yourself, you're loving your twin flame. And even though you're not in the physical, that is the way the physical will bring it in. It's that aha moment. It's the wake up call to that twin flame. So we also have an energy here. So for the masculine, we have the ace of wands, the creativity, the passion, the lucid dreaming and things of that nature for the feminine. And look beneath that for the masculine, we have the king of cups. Again, a lot of fire, water energies. This is in keeping his emotions up, listening to his intuition, using empathy and psychic abilities and coming from a place of nurturing and love instead of from a place of, um, this passion that was more in a way that is in and out. So really mastering these feelings and these emotions. And oh, wow, this is just so beautiful. So here we have the Wheel of Fortune. And look at that before, yeah, waking up. So there's a turn of event, waking up for that 1111. So this is the card of celebration of the twin flame connection of marriage mastery. And again, there was a leaving. It's almost two people left each other without recognizing the connection, but that wheel is turning. You're to turn for the feminine, that that karmic cycle, learn from that cycle, learn from the chapter, learn what it taught you. If you put all your energy on a player energy of the in and out, you are to learn to do that self mastery within. So you can really um, bring in, integrate and bring in the lessons that it taught you. So you can turn the wheel, the wheel of fortune upright is a fortunate sign that brings you now into your own passion, seeing your own courage, your own strength into what it is that you're creating. So creating that love from the inside out. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's pull twin flame for the masculine and then we will pull a twin flame also for the feminine. Let's get a <clears throat> couple cards here for the masculine energy. What is the message for the masculine? Wow. <laughs> This is beautiful. We have the card. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> we have the card of healers. Magical, mystical, shamans, seers, witches, and psychics. Yes, as we're seeing both parties right now 
are healing. So they're really recognizing that the twin flame connection is about not just the triggers, but the positive aspect is really healing and turning the wheel and rewriting that soul contract. The contract was to trigger one each other so you can see your own patterns and your own cycles, hence to come into union with your twin flame. And here we're going to pick as well. I'm going to pick two more on this side and let's see the messages. <laughs> I, I can end this right now. Twin flame mirroring. Yes, we're seeing a lot of that. We're seeing, uh, let me just pick one more card here. And, um, okay, wait, I'm just going to pick one more for the feminine. We have the twin flame mirroring. Wow. As you are seeing here, this connection is unexplainable. And the next card out would be my wish. Everything reminds me of you. I still love you. And we clearly see this. So for the feminine, she's waking up to the connection and she's really looking at how they have mirrored one another. So when you're seeing, so, you know, there's this thing, you know, it's like we become a vibrational match, right? So if one is thinking that this is going to take too long and it's never going to happen, you're going to get this energy of somebody who comes in and who comes in, rushes in and out of your life. So everything is energy. If one is feeling that they're going to be abandoned, rejected, and left behind, then you're going to meet the player energy of somebody who comes in and abandons and rejects you. You're a vibrational match. But and then tricking yourself into, you know, doing the same thing again and again and again. But when two people awaken to the fact that it is about love, love is all there is. But until two can share this love, you are to recognize your own oneness, your own wholeness that is already within you. This is the other aspect of you, the masculine part of you or feminine aspect of you. And this is the masculine version of you. It is same soul, same soul recognizing itself in the other because it is you. That is the twin flame. It is not another who's going to make you feel whole. You are already whole. And now you come together and you become a third. This is where you give service to the world. This is where you become very creative. You have a mission together as the twin flame journey. This is not the kind of relationship, oh, we're going to love and we're going to get. No, the twin flame is beyond that. The twin flame journey is about bringing service to humanity, bringing love. But for you two to come in, for any twin flame to come in, there are contracts, there are other partners, there are other people to break through. This is in recognizing that we all have healing abilities that is within inside us it is recognizing our seers and is recognizing you know do, with the witches is that you know where were we in darkness that could be dark magic here is about using your psychic abilities like recognizing that you're a shaman recognizing that yes you're a magician so the magician in reverse can be using dark tactics and here yes it is my wish it is both wishes to reconcile because everything does remind because you are the same soul having masculine and feminine experiences and you're both to learn that that love is all there is. And when you recognize that, you both come in and you create something very, very beautiful together, mastering that lion within. So you can both come into union. It is absolutely beautiful. Let's see in the masculine what dream he is having. <laughs> okay, this one turned, nope. Let's see what the masculine's dream is. Oh my God, okay. The masculine is winning the lottery. So masculine, if you, in your dream, you felt like you're winning the lottery, bet on yourself. Yeah, bet on yourself to wake up. Bet on yourself to win. Bet on yourself to come out of the matrix, to come out of the illusion. Bet on yourself to come out of lack, out of rejection, out of loneliness, out of things are not working for you, out of pettiness, out of judgment, out of dark nights of the soul. Bet on yourself that you are here to break through and to understand that it's about unconditional love. The bet is on you. And for the feminine, let's see the message that wants to come out here for the feminine. And what is the feminine dreaming about? Award. 
accept your well-earned praise. Yeah, this is beautiful. So this is in you recognizing as well. This is light body. This is, yeah, you're being awarded. You're being awarded out of loving yourself. This is when you really start to see the magic and the beauty that is already within you. This is when you have been working on yourself. So when you have been living in your own, living an authentic life, this is being true to yourself, the feminine. So this is when you realize that you came here to do and be who you've come here to be. This is congratulations. So this is when you stop working on the outer relationships and you stand for yourself and you say, you know what? I need to block you. I need to self-love. I need to find out who I am. I need to find out why I'm here. And I need to really look within myself in regards to the connection. There is success here. This is that inner success. There's an acceptance. When there's been an acceptance of the letting go of the situation, this is when you are well earned for that praise. This is when... The universe aligns you with all the right tools in order for you to heal from the inside out. And so you can praise yourself in, by doing the work that you've been doing in regards to your own value and your own worth and in regards to your habits, your health, and all of these things too. So this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous reading. If you have not subscribed, oops, sorry, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.